But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to draw a diagram for perfect competition. And I'm going to do this by showing you side-by-side -side graphs. Now, the diagram on the left is going to be for the market. The diagram on the right is going to be for the firm. So I'm going to label this one on the left market and this one on the right firm. And make sure to label your axes price and quantity. And for the firm, cost and revenue on the Y and quantity on the X. Now, I'm going to do a step that you've learned in the earlier parts of AS Economics or your first year of economics is this basic supply and demand diagram. I'm going to have them intersect. I'm going to label equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. I'm also not going to forget to label my curves, upward sloping supply curve, downward sloping demand curve. All right, and I labeled price P star. Therefore, equilibrium output is going to be Q star. Then I'm going to take this price across to the firm because the firm is a price taker. They have to take the price in the market. So I'm going to make this my demand curve and my average revenue marginal revenue curve, right? And I'm going to add in my marginal cost curve, upward sloping, looking like the Nike swoosh, and then let them intersect. In also now include my average total cost curve. I'm going to have this thing uh, hit the intersection of marginal cost and marginal revenue. Hopefully at its lowest point, I had to draw this circle in big to compensate for the offset uh, intersection. And then that's what the firm is going to be producing at Q star. Now let's say demand increases in the market for some reason. Demand rises. Well, we all know that's going to drive up the price in the market, and that's also going to increase the equilibrium output. So we're going to show that on the diagram on the left. Now what effect does this have on the right? It's going to drive up the, pr the price the firm can get, and I'm going to show you that in orange. So this is going to be the price the firm can get. So I want to label this new curve D1, or average revenue one, or marginal revenue. And I think you can't really see that, so I'm going to go back and then put a little bit of a brown overlay so it becomes clear. And this is the new demand curve, so I want you to ignore the one below. Now we're going to take the intersection of this curve and marginal cost, and we're going to drop down from it because that's our profit maximizing level of output. Then we're going to drop down again from MR equals MC to where it intersects average total cost curve, and we're going to go across to find our price. Now that rectangle represents supernormal profit, which is only attainable in the short run. Now, if you actually play this video backwards, you'll be able to see what would happen if demand decreased in this market. So the main thing I wanted to show you is we started off in long run equilibrium. We've made our way here to the short run situation where